Uh, hey, what's up everybody? It's Rutech. Today, we'll be talking about the best 1440p 144Hz monitors that you can get yourself for $300 or less. Now, with the rise of all of these new super powerful graphics cards and CPUs, it totally makes sense to be making a transition over to 1440p. Heck, the reason I'm making this video is because I feel behind and I'm actually looking for a 1440p gaming monitor for myself, and I bet a lot of other people feel the same exact way. Anyway, with a 1440p 100 144 hertz monitor, you'll be able to utilize the full potential of those upper mid range to high end graphics cards and games as you'll be able to play them in 1440p while being able to view in up to 144 frames per second. And of course, you'll have a much sharper viewing experience with your PC overall. So in this list, these monitors are in no particular order. However, I will mention my favorite of the five at the end of the video. So in this video, I'm giving my top five picks, but perhaps you have a different smaller or bigger budget, or you're just looking for something with different specific features and want a more personalized recommendation from a highly trustworthy source. Well, there's this new shopping tool called Luster. It's a free Chrome extension that gives you exactly that. Not only does it find and analyze trusted expert reviews, but it also brings up discussion forums mentioning products like on Reddit or video reviews on YouTube. This makes it quick and easy to get a second opinion as you're shopping right on Amazon. It even provides personalized product recommendations for your exact budget with price comparisons across different retailers like Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon, etc. so that you can always get the lowest price. The whole point is you're gonna be saving a lot of time and cash using Luster. Link for the free Chrome extension is in my description. All right, so kicking things off, we have the Viotech GFV27 DAB. It's 27 inches, has a refresh rate of 144 hertz, a one millisecond response time, all with its VA panel. It also is both FreeSync and G-Sync compatible, meaning that you will have zero screen tearing if you're using a compatible AMD or NVIDIA graphics card. Another awesome thing about this monitor will have to be its stand. When you search for 1440p 144Hz monitors in this price range, you'll find that majority do not have a high adjustable stand, but this Viotech monitor does, which is a huge plus. Being able to adjust the height of your monitor will prevent a ton of neck aches, trust me. <laughs> in addition to this, it has a 99% sRGB color gamut, which in short means that you'll have very accurate colors. This display also would look great in a dual monitor setup as it has very slim bezels. As for ports, it has two HD HDMI ports, one being 2.0 and the other being a 1.4, a display port, and an audio jack. Viotech isn't the most popular name in the monitor business, but not to worry, Viotech is definitely a reliable brand. From what I could find, most people have an overall great experience with their gaming monitors. Next on the list, we have the Gigabyte G27 QC monitor. Its VA panel has a size of 27 inches, resolution of 2560 by 1440, which means 2K or 1440p, a refresh rate of 165 hertz, so a little bit above the normal 144, a 1500R curve, and a one millisecond response time. It has AMD FreeSync, so you won't have to worry about screen tearing, and just like the last monitor, this display from Gigabyte does have tilt and height adjustment, which, like I said, is almost a necessity to prevent neck aches and overall to have a personalized viewing experience. As for ports, it has one display port, two HDMI ports, and two USB 3.0 ports. It also comes with two two watt speakers. It's pretty likely that these speakers aren't top of the line quality, but it's always nice when monitors include speakers in case you just aren't trying to wear headphones, but still wanna at least hear what's happening on your screen. With all that being said, a pretty great monitor. Most of you probably have heard of Gigabyte and they're pretty popular and reputable, especially among graphics cards and other PC components. So there's no reason to doubt the quality of this monitor. Definitely a steal in my opinion. Next up, our third monitor on this list is the AOC CQ27G1. Now, if you've followed this channel for a bit and have watched some of my other top five monitor videos, you'd know that AOC monitors usually take the cake out of the five discussed products. So let's take a look at how this one holds up. The CQ27G1 has a VA panel with a size of 27 inches, a 2K resolution, meaning 1440p, has a curve radius of 1800, a refresh rate of 144, and a response time of one millisecond. As expected, it does also have FreeSync. And you guessed it, it also has a height adjustable stand, making for an easily personalized experience. And finally for ports, it has one display port and two HDMI 2.0 ports, so you definitely can go ahead and hook up quite a few devices 
to this screen. Second to last monitor on this top five list is the Acer Nitro XV27-2U Kubernetes. You know, no idea why the name is so long, but anyway, this monitor has an IPS panel, a size of 27 inches, resolution of 1440p, a high refresh rate of 144 hertz, and a one millisecond response time. Very nice to see IPS panels with one millisecond response times because it means you're getting the best of both worlds being responsiveness and color accuracy. If you're not sure what I mean, in short, IPS panels are known for their color accuracy and it was not until recent years that you'd be able to find IPS monitors with a one millisecond response time for affordable prices. As for screen tearing elimination, this monitor has G-Sync and FreeSync, so you no doubt will be saying adios to any sort of tearing problems. Another cool addition is that this has two speakers, which like you'd expect, isn't the best, but it is always nice to have. As for ports, we're looking at one display port two HDMI 2.0s and four USB 3.0s. So if you're looking to use a ton of USB-A devices, this might be a very attractive monitor to you. Now, with all that being said, this monitor does have one downside, which is no height adjustment, only tilt adjustment. Might turn some of you off from this monitor and some of you may not care, but to me, it's a deal breaker. Aside from that though, a fantastic monitor with perfect specs for gaming. Lastly, we have an interesting one. I chose the Viotech GNV 32 dB monitor. Now this one is 32 inches, not the normal 27, so this is probably something you'd be interested in if you want a much larger display than normal. Anyway, this monitor has a resolution of 2560 by 1440p, so this is not an ultra wide monitor, it's just 32 inches in diagonal length, so a 16 by nine ratio. It uses a VA panel, has a 144 hertz refresh rate, four millisecond response time, is G-Sync and FreeSync compatible, and has a 1500R curve. Unfortunately, it is not height adjustable, but with the screen this big, that may not be too big of a problem. As for ports, it has three HDMI, two being 1.4, and the other being 2.0, one display port, and an audio jack. Now, personally, I would never really want a display this big, but there are definitely some scenarios which would call for a 32 inch monitor, which I will leave up to you guys for figuring out. But yeah, that will do it for these top five monitors. So which one is the best? It's really a tough call, especially with how each of these have their own pros and cons and are all really good because I really did search and pick out the absolute best five in this price range, but I gotta choose. So I'm going to have to go with the Gigabyte G27 QC. And let me explain why. Aside from the fact that it of course is 27 inches, 1440p and has a one millisecond response time, it has a 165 hertz refresh rate versus the usual 144 and has AMD FreeSync Premium, which offers some benefits over the typical AMD FreeSync, as you can see here on this chart. Now, if you haven't figured it out yet, I am really a big fan of monitors with height adjustment and this Gigabyte monitor has just that. But of course, like I said, these five monitors I talked about today are the best you can get for this price range. So it's totally up to you which monitor you get. But anyways, guys, that will wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you have any comments or questions, drop a comment below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you enjoy the content that you're seeing, drop a sub. Thanks for watching. Peace out.